Hey guys, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about three vanilla perfumes that I think are absolutely stunning. They are inviting, addictive, gorgeous, they just are beautiful. And so they are niche fragrances and yeah, I just want to give like a rundown of each of them. So the first one here is definitely a hidden gem. It is from the house of Maria Candida Genti or Genti or Gentile. I don't know. I can just write it down there for you guys. Um, but this one is called Noir Tropical. So I have just a sample here. This one has notes of vanilla, rum, almond, and bergamot. And when I smell this, it's kind of misleading. The name Noir Tropical, to me, doesn't match what this smells like. To me, I definitely get this boozy, smooth vanilla scent. And there's also this smoky, dark incense in here. So honestly, this kind of reminds me of Spiritus de Bovigny. It's not the same, but that same feeling of having a gorgeous vanilla scent with some smoky dark undertones um, perhaps a touch of uh, tobacco in here which is not in the notes but I get that in here I also get a touch of like cocoa or chocolate this is just a fantastic vanilla scent that reminds me of a boozy um, drink a boozy drink <laughs> an alcohol drink like maybe some whiskey that's been um infused with some like really expensive vanilla bean like luxury vanilla beans if there's such thing <laughs> and so yeah noir tropical for me there's nothing tropical about this um, but this is just a beautiful 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 vanilla scent that I think that if you like Spiritus du Bovigny, you might like this. I definitely would recommend you to try this out. Noir Tropical from Maria Candida Gentile Gentil, whatever. I'm sorry if I can't, uh, if I'm not saying it right. Okay, so the next one here is from the house of Ormond Jane. This one is called Vanille Diris or Diris. Um, I'm saying it wrong, I guess. <laughs> uh, Vanille Diris. I'm guessing that's how you say it in French, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is also kind of underrated. Like I hear a little bit about this in the community. Um, but this is just a fantastic mix of vanilla and iris. And I think what makes this fragrance is the iris in here. To me, it's very very soft it's buttery sweet it's just like giving me this like luxurious feeling and so we have this gorgeous iris mixing in with this um, somewhat dry powdery and woody vanilla scent and together it is heavenly i just think this is a fantastic um, vanilla and iris based perfume so it opens with a bright powderiness maybe there's a bit of spice in here but it kind of reminds me of like uh, a lipstick or lipsticky scent I kind of think of a makeup bag as well where you have like the powder you have the lipstick and maybe the powder broke inside the bag and you have like all those powdery bits and then you have like this vanilla scented lipstick, which kind of reminds me of MAC lipsticks. They have this really nice vanilla scent to them. Uh, by the way, I'm wearing, uh, uh, by coincidence, I am wearing a MAC uh, lipstick today. It's Russian red. But anyways, yeah, it opens as a bright, powdery, sweet, vanilla, um, spicy, somewhat citrus scent. And then in the dry down, it starts coming very creamy, the vanilla comes out, creamy vanilla, and a little bit of an earthy smokiness. There is vetiver in here, and I definitely get something earthy at the base here. Um, 
that just adds to this buttery, soft, smooth iris, and it is phenomenal. I find this fragrance to be super sexy, kind of mysterious, and addictive, and I think that I would wear this if I have somewhere special to go to. Um, it isn't a very loud fragrance, and I think that that might be something that would concern people if you're looking to purchase this, because um, it is something that does uh, stay closer to, to the skin, at least for me. But that's exactly what I like about it. It is a fragrance that just for me, it makes me feel confident or more confident, and it makes me feel dressed up makes me feel more feminine and it makes me feel prettier. So <laughs> that's um, why I love this. It's gorgeous, uh, really, really gorgeous scent. So Vanille de Iris. I think that men can wear this easily as well. But uh, yeah, give this one a try. It is gorgeous, as I said like a million times, from the house of Ormond Jane, Vanille de Iris or Diris. And finally, the last one here I want to talk about is from the house of Zerjoff. This is from their Casamarati collection. It's called Dama Bianca. And so Dama Bianca is also a very powdery scent. Powdery vanilla. However, there's some fruitiness in here that adds more sweetness to this already sweet vanilla. And so this fragrance to me, for me, it makes me feel rich. <laughs> it makes me feel like I am some like rich woman walking down the street. There is just something so intoxicating about this perfume. Um, something that when I wear it, I feel like I'm being noticed, even though maybe no one's even around me, but that's how it makes me feel. So this is powdery, vanilla, fruity, as this fragrance dries down, um, I am kind of thinking of like a powdered sugar kind of scent. This is also very creamy, as I said, and it almost reminds me of like a, a milkiness. So milky, powdered sugar, vanilla, maybe some uh, smooth kind of woodiness. Like there's a lot of things going on in this perfume. Um, and it does dry down into a smooth, woody vanilla scent. But uh, I will say with this one that I have worn this quite a few times. Um, there have been times that this fragrance is so thick and rich that it can be a little bit overwhelming. So for me, I would be careful with how much you spray of Dama Bianca. But I think it's a beautiful scent in any case. It's really interesting how this fragrance just kind of makes me feel a different way. And I like that. So Dama Bianca is something that I think is worth a try. So I really like it. I like all, of, all three of these. If I had to choose one, I would probably choose the Noir Tropical, just because it does remind me a lot of the Spiritus Dubo Vanille, which uh, is one of my most favorite vanilla fragrances of all time. Um, but yeah, definitely get your nose on these. I think they're fantastic. And yeah, that was basically my thoughts of these three gorgeous uh, vanilla perfumes that I find to be very inviting, addictive, and heavenly. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Let me know in the comments what you think of these fragrances if you've tried them. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.